This is the blender question. Da, 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 da. We've got a graph. When in the blender is empty and running at high speed, how much time is required for the blade to turn by 90 degrees? So the blender first is stopped, and then this is when it's empty, and then when you add the ice cubes, it slows down, right? So when it says when the blade is empty, that is at 2,500 rands, how much time is required for the blade to get turned by 90 degrees? So if you think about it, it is traveling at 25 rads um, per second, right? Because that's that's what it says. It's the angular speed. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna say 2,500 rads per second. Got it? That's the uh, Or maybe I should think of it this way. W is the angle over time, right? And it's asking when the is high speed, how much time? You're solving for time. They've given you this is W, right? And it says, and you're doing 90 degrees, and 90 degrees in radians is going to be pi over 2 or 0.5 pi. So if I were to solve for, you know, if I said W equals sigma over time, or if I want to solve for time, I could say time is equal to sigma over w. That's just rearranging things. And so that's just going to be one-half times pi divided by our speed, which was 2,500, right? And as a note, you're going to get a very small answer. I have 6.3 times 10 to the minus 4 seconds. So it's going to be very quick. It's a blender. It should be going very, very fast. All right, for question B, how much, how many revolutions does a blade complete between 15 and 20 seconds? So now you're in the last segment here from 15 to 20 seconds. Um, how many revolutions does it go from 15 to 20 seconds? We know that it's doing so many rads per second, right? So if it's going um, 1,000 rads in every one second, how many revolutions does it do yeah, between 15 and 20 seconds, right? So it's doing this for um, how far? I, so I said, again, I, I, I get this equation. It's W equals theta over time. I know this is 1,000. And then T is 5 seconds from 15 to 20 seconds is 5 seconds. So it's going to travel through 5,000 rads, right? So 5,000 rads in those five seconds. And then I said, I'm just going to do conversion. In fact, there's two pi rads for every one revolution. I'm just going to take 5,000 divided by two pi. And as a note, I get 796 revolutions. And then the last question says, how fast is the tip of the blade moving when the bladder or the blender, the bladder, the blender is running on empty? Um, it's going to be moving, if again, at 2,500, right? Look at the graph. When it's empty, it's moving at 2,500 rads uh, per second. So watch how I do this. I, I'm going to say 2,500 rads per second. And then I can say 2 pi rads, again dimensionally, is equal to one revolution, and my rads will cancel. Now I've got revolutions, and now what I want to do is I want to get revolutions into meters. Remember, one revolution is 2 pi r, so I can say one revolution is 2 times pi times the r. Now in this case, the blades are 3 centimeters long, or 0 0.03 meters. And so I just do the math. As a note, the two pies cancel, so it's going to be 2,500 times 0.03, and I get uh, 75 meters per second. Houston, we know a problem.